Hello everyone. Namaskar. Raj Krishna this side. Today we are going to solve another type of problem in uh, numerical methods. In this we are going to see how we can solve a differential equation. The ordinary one which we have solved separately uh, previously. The ordinary differential equation. Now this time we are not going to solve it by the method. Rather we are going to use numerical techniques. Uh, in this case, it is the Euler's method which we are going to use to find the approximate value of y corresponding to x equals to 1. Fine. Now, this is the equation which is given dy by dx equals to x plus y. And what is this? y equals to 1 when x equals to 0. So, you know this notation value of y at x naught is y naught okay so value of y here at x naught is 0 this is equal to y naught and uh, what is that given equal to 1 fine so your x naught here is 0 your y naught here is 1. If you have got these two values, similar values we want like x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay. So, what is the iterative formula? Because we need some formula so that we can find the further values, higher ones. So, the iterative formula For what? For Euler's method. This is x n plus 1. Sorry. Y n plus 1. Is equals to y n. Plus h times value of function at x n y n fine so this is the uh, formula no? f of x n y n and that was the value of the y which is also the function at x n y n Okay. So, this will help us to find the further values. So, because they are not given any information about n. So, we are choosing it small enough. So, let's take n equals to 5. Okay. So, the value of y5, whatever will be that, that will be our approximate solution. Fine. So, you know the value of x0 that is 0 corresponding to that y0 is 1. Now, uh, I need to find h first. So, h will be this value minus this value. So, x value 0 minus 1 rather the other side if I say will be 1 minus 0 divided by what is the value of n we have chosen that is 5 the formula for h is b minus a divided by n okay so if we use the same formula here you might have been confused that x is written here also and here also. So you will choose the upper interval as this because uh, it looks higher. Uh, this is x equals to 0. This is x equals to 1. So the higher value minus the lower value divided by number of uh, that number which we have taken in this case equals to 5. You can take it equal to 10 also. Okay. 
but uh, make sure that the value of h is relatively very very small so that uh, you don't get any confusion uh, because in this method the value of h needs to be small for this method to work for euler method value of the h needs to be small so in this case we are getting uh, 1 by 5 which is 0 0.2 i guess Now, because we have got the value of h, so we know that xn is x0 plus n times h. So, by using this formula, this is the formula which we already know. This is not the iterative formula, but uh, can be used to find the value of different values of x. Okay, so we can find the value of x1, x2 and so on. So, let's find it first. So, value of x1 will be x0 plus x0 is 0 plus 1 into h is 0 0.2 so this is giving me 0 0.2 what will be the value of x2 that will be x0 that is 0 plus 2 into 0 0.2 so that will be 0 0.4 and similarly as you can see we are adding just a fixed thing so it will be 0 0.6 x4 will be 0 0.8 and then finally x5 will be 0. Point, uh, sorry 1 okay so from x not equals to 0 we have reached till x uh, value of x equals to 1 okay from x equals to 0 to x equals to 1 so we have reached that uh, upper thing from 0 okay now similarly uh, using the Euler's iterative formula, let's find y1. So, for y1, we have to put n equals to 0. h is 0 0.2. f of xn, yn. So, here n will be 0. So, f of x0, y0. This is something like this. Okay. So, y1 will be what is y0 that is 1 plus 0 0.2 what is the function here function here is x plus y okay fx is x plus y so if i need to find f of x not y not what is that wherever in the function we have x here function in this case is x plus y so if they are asking that we need to find the value of x not y not so wherever you see x replace that by x not wherever you see y replace that by y so x not is 0 and y not is 1 so function is simple x plus y so x not plus y not okay so y1 you are getting as 1 plus 0 0.2 which is 1 point similarly if i find y2 that will be y1 which is 1.2 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by value of function at x1 y1 so x1 is 0 0.2 y1 is 1.2 so, y2 will be 1.2 plus 0 0.2 times 1.4. So, let's find this. So, 1.2 plus 0 0.2 times 1.4 and this is coming out to be 
let's find the other values of y3 so y2 plus 0.2 times x2 plus y2 So 1.48 plus 0 0.2 0.2 is multiplied by 0 0.4 plus 1.48 and this is giving 1.8 5 6 so you got the y3 value as 1.856 then for the y4 value again that will be y3 plus 0.2 multiplied by the value of the function at x3 y3 Function is simply x plus y, so x3 plus y3. So this will be 1.856 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.6 plus <coughs> 1.856. So 2.3. Four seven two, and the finally the value of y five will be y four, which is two point three four seven two plus zero point two times x four y four, so zero point eight plus two point three four seven. And the value is finally 2.3472 plus 0 0.2 times 0 0.8 plus 2.3472. So this is this is this is this is going out to be 2.97664. Two so these are the values which we have got at the end we have got 2.97664 uh, definitely uh, in this textbook they have taken uh, it to be uh, the value of n to be 10 so accordingly answer will change but yes with this set of values with uh, y not as 1 x not as 0 and x equals to 1 if these values are intact you are going to be, get the approximate solution as equal to 2.97664 assuming that i have not uh, done any error in calculation so that's it from the side uh, the basic uh, recap if i do whatever function you have given uh, value initial value of x and in that the value of y so that is x naught and y naught then this is uh, the value at which we are asking to find the value of the function so that you will take as b so b minus a divided by n the n is something which will make the h relatively small like 0 0.1 0 0.2 okay so try to take n like that and this is the iterative formula so our main is goal is to find this x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y3 and so on uh, depending on the value of n and uh, depending on h. So whatever h you need to take, you need to add it in the initial value. Here it is 0. So 0 adding 0 0.2, 0 0.2, add 0 0.2 till you get 1. Okay. So, and at the last value, you need to find uh, last value here as you saw x5 when it became 1. There, whatever will be the value of y, here it is y5. 
that will be the approximate solution for your case. So I can write the approximate solution is y equals to 2.97664. Okay. So that's it uh, for today. We'll see you with uh, some more question on ordinary differential equation and other numerical methods. Uh, thanks again. Uh, you can find this in the playlist, which is uh, um, numerical ordinary differential equation. I will have to make some other playlist. So let's see. Uh, you will get uh, the idea in the description. That's it for today. Thanks again.